everyone, welcome to another favorites. It is the end of August. This is a big month for a few reasons. Um, the big month is because personally, and for a lot of you watching, the kids are going back to school. Also personally, there's been some miles, this little milestone happened. Um, as of filming this, and I am filming this on Tuesday the 28th, I, my YouTube channel, officially hit 100,000 subscribers. That seems really weird to say out loud. I'm really, really happy and really grateful and I'm actually gonna be doing a whole video about that on Tuesday and it's more about celebrating with you and for you and about you, it's not about me. But um, while 100,000 subscribers is no small feat and I do not wanna sound ungrateful, I also don't wanna make that big of a deal about it because that would, I feel like, be disrespectful to the first 99,999 of you who have been here prior to that. And every single one of you, whether you were the first one to come around, the thousandth one, the 10,000th, every one is important and every one means so much to me. And so, yeah, it's an amazing milestone. It's a nice even number. Hopefully at some point YouTube will send me that silver play button that will go somewhere in my house. But it's just, all of you mean so much to me. I do feel like we're this weird little family here. I always do refer to you and mean that you are the best friends that I have never met. And I just don't want that, the celebratory part of this to overshadow that I value not just the hundredth person to finally click subscribe, but all the people that came before them. So I hope I make that very clear. Okay, let's get to favorites because I will repeat all that probably again on Tuesday's video. And I really urge you to watch Tuesday's video because um, I have some really fun things planned for you. Big, big deal milestone for someone else here on YouTube and um, is a big favorite of mine. And it is the uh, launch of the collaboration with Emily Noel 83 Emily Eddington, um, here on YouTube. Her collaboration with Makeup Revolution. Everyone has heard about this. It is sold out everywhere. I placed my order the minute it went live. I got the Needs palette, and I wore that actually yesterday. And there it is. And it's beautiful. And I love it. But what I love, 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 and is my absolute favorite, which really surprised me, I'm wearing it right now, is the Wands palette. And why I'm surprised, if you're a longtime viewer, you know I'm a neutral girl. I don't wear color. But this, I cannot wait to wear every single color. And right now, I am wearing Grateful all over my lid. I love this color. It's the second time I'm wearing this color. And Emily um, has inspired me to wear all the colors. I am going to wear all of the colors. You will see them at some point on my eye. I'm sure I'll do at least one video showing you some looks from this. I'm really excited about the purples because they're warm purples. I really wanna wear purples, but I have never been able to find ones that just made me look kind of washed out and tired. And these look bright and vibrant. Well, they are bright and vibrant just like Emily. There have been a lot of palettes that have come out recently that are a favorite. Another one that was um, launched recently that is a favorite, and I haven't had very long, is the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, when I saw this come out on the internet, I knew I was gonna have to grab this too, because look at all these beautiful, warm tone neutral colors. And yes, some pinks and purples, but again, the warmer tones, which I find for me much more wearable. So very excited for that. And if you saw yesterday's video, you saw these in action. Another beauty favorite I want to dress that is on my face is this little guy. And um, this I've had for a while. It's the Hourglass, I think it's called the Girl, yeah, Girl Lip Stylo in the shade Creator, which I said I'm wearing on my lips. Kind of forgot I had it. No, yeah, I did. I kind of forgot I had it. I was actually watching Leanne Says, um, her wedding tutorial, and she used... Um, and I can't remember if it's this exact shade, but it was an hourglass lip stylo. Stilo? It was this thing. And I was like, I have that. And it's just a really wearable neutral pink. And it's really creamy and I like the delivery system. I like this little bullet thing and I, it's a favorite. I've been wearing it pretty much nonstop all of August. If you watch my vlogs, you'll have seen it listed a whole bunch of times in the description box. I really enjoy it. Another favorite that actually I believe is a favorite from last year and I pulled it out again, 
This is the nail polish from Butter London in the shade Deary Me, and I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. It's just a warm rose shade. It's not like a little cool tone mauve or mauve, or however you say that word, depending on where you live, you may say it either way. It's much brighter and warmer, but it's a nice transition for fall, I feel like. I'm not ready to go full on fall, um, so this, because it's 100 degrees still, but um, I feel like this is a nice way to ease into it. Another beauty favorite came from the Sephora haul that is still going on, by the way, that's for sale, goes on through September 3rd, I believe, and I will list below um, a link to my recommendations and wish, wish list is another purchase from Fenty Beauty. This one, this product has been around a while, but I'm just late to the band, <coughs> excuse me, to the bandwagon. This is the Kilowatt highlighter, um, two, there's two of them. And what I really like about this highlighter is on this side, this shade is a little more subtle, better suited for daytime, I would say. I decided not to do that. Today I am wearing the, I think it's Fire Crystal is the more shiny side. And I have the blinds actually drawn, so it's a little dimmer in here, but I mean, there's a lot of highlight going on. Um, these can be used on the face and the eye. And I've seen actually Lisa Eldridge use this in a tutorial on the eye. So let me try that next. Cause I do like just something like a gleam on the eye and then a little contour and we're done. That's one of my favorite eye looks. So loving, I love this. You may have seen where Estee Lauder sent me a PR box with um, 56 mini bottles of their Estee Lauder double wear range. It's a lot. Um, I do appreciate that at least they didn't send me 56 full size bottles because that would have been ridiculous. Um, what was interesting is the shade I've been wearing for a very long time, Ecru, actually is not my shade match. This allowed me to find my shade in the comfort of my own home and the perfect match, like it is my exact skin to color is Ivory Nude 1N1. And I am still working my way through this sample bottle, which has more product than I thought in it. So um, when I'm done with this, I will be going out and getting the full size bottle because even though they did send me three full size bottles, none of them are in my shade. I will just be giving those away. A new fragrance that I am enjoying very much. So Clinique Happy came out, like I think in the mid to late 90s. And admittedly, I'm not a fan. I like, scents that are warm, smoky. I like to say they smell a little bit dirty. I don't like clean, fresh, fruity. That's not my vibe. Um, so I didn't really like Clinique Happy so much, but um, Clinique has released a whole new line of like offshoots of the Happy brand. And so they're called Clinique My Happy. And one of the scents that is in that line is called Coco and Cashmere. And full disclosure, they sent me them. Um, and somehow more fruity or floral, whatever. But this one, like I said, cocoa and cashmere is a lot more warm, spicy, but not super heavy. Like my all time favorite, which I have brought out here to show you is the Hermes Amber Narguilé. And this one is only available like in an Hermes actual store. Like you can't get this at Sephora or Nordstrom. You can only get it in a actual retail Hermes store, or you can order it from directly from the Hermes website. I'll put that below. And this one's really heavy. Oh my gosh. It's, it's very heavy. I do wear it in the day because I love it. I don't care, but it's much more suited for evening, fall, winter. It smells like hot buttered rum and honey and amber obviously. And it's very heavy and smoky. Another one that's in that same range is the, um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Um, I like the Tokyo milk dark, what is this one called? Tainted Love is a similar one. For some reason, I also, I have all these minis. Um, the Nest Midnight Floor is floral in it, but again, it's that warm scent. So this is in that same family. It's much more wearable for daytime. It's a nice, like similar to this nail polish, it's a nice transition from summer to fall. It's not as heavy, it's a little bit lighter, but it's in that same warm scent. That might've been the worst description of a fragrance in the history of mankind, but I did my best. Fashion accessory clothing stuff. These earrings I have been wearing ridiculously a lot. Um, they are from Bobble Bar. They're hoops, but they're a little twist, so to speak, on a traditional gold hoop. They have little clear beads kind of wired onto the edges of them, and they're very lightweight, but they're just a little more fun and a little bit different than an average hoop, so I really enjoy that. 
I wrote down the rest of my favorites so I would not forget. Um, also, really loving my Zella Crop joggers. You saw them when I wore them to Lost Pines to go zip lining. Love them so much. I went back and bought another pair in black and um, they're just a really good length. They're, they're longer in length, but they're very lightweight, so I can wear them in this weather. I actually wore them to Mississippi to help Jake with his move in, and by helping, I sat in his room and watched him move boxes. But still, I was dressed as if I were going to be doing heavy lifting. And speaking of being dressed comfortably, I bought my first pair of gym shoes in a long time, and I really, really like them. I don't know the exact name. I'll list that in the description box, but they're from Adidas, and, um, they're really, I mean, I've been wearing them for more athletic type things, but I plan on jumping on that athleisure trend and actually wearing them just to walk around in. I really like them. So who knew, right? That me of all people would be wearing sneakers with like pants. So stay tuned for that look, it's coming. Um, another piece of clothing that I picked up actually in July when I went to Charleston, when I um, went to Gwyn's and did my little shop, it wasn't a shopping spree, I bought two things at Gwyn's. I bought the Barefoot Dreams, um, lounge sweater type thing, which obviously I'm not wearing yet because it's, like I mentioned, a little warm. The other thing I picked up was my first pair of very, very expensive jeans. I'm not gonna lie, they're very expensive. But um, the frame jeans, they're high-waisted skinny jeans and they're distressed and they're amazing. They suck everything in, they lift your rear end up. I love them, I love them. I want more frame jeans, I love them. They are a good investment. For sure, I've washed them, they don't lose their shape, they don't, it just, they're amazing. As far as the rest of my lifestyle-oriented favorites, book series, read the follow-up to Strange Practice, um, it was Dreadful Company is the new one, I will list that below. It's the one about a London-based doctor who is a doctor to paranormal species instead of human beings. Really, really good read. And then I found a book series, I was on like the second book maybe, when uh, coincidentally somebody else here on YouTube recommended the series to me in the comments. It's the Miss Fortune Mystery Series. The author is Jana de Leon. It is set in a small town in the swamps of Louisiana. The main character is an assassin for the CIA, a woman who has to go, um, not exactly undercover, she's actually hiding because her cover's been compromised and so she's hiding undercover in this. It's not a serious book. It's ridiculous and funny and silly. If you like like the Stephanie Plum series, it's kind of in that vein from Janet Ivanovich, it's fun. And there's at least eight books, eight or nine books in the series, and I'm on book four or five now. So really having fun with that. I've bought a few more, like um, Rush, that was recommended by, is it Lisa Patton maybe? But I'm so into this series, I just wanna get through this series first before I jump on another book. And then speaking of books, I finished the Crazy Rich Asian series, which if you haven't read that, there's three books in that, three books in that series. Highly, highly recommend that. But I, Michael and I went and saw the movie when it um, was released, and it is a fabulous movie. I actually wanna go back and see it again. It is so visually interesting and stimulating, well, in a lot of ways. One of the main, the main character, the boyfriend, oh my God, um, he's very easy on the eyes. All of the, actually, so many beautiful people in that movie. So if you just wanna, like, for the eye candy alone, it's worth going for, but no. The movie itself is really well done. Um, I want to go to Singapore now and just as a tourist, it, I am, I'm hooked, but the, it, if you've read the book, it's different. So don't let that bother you. It's still really well done, but it's not exactly the same, but some of it is exactly the same. So it, it plays well. So if you have not read the book, you can definitely go see the movie. You won't be missing anything. If you have read the book and are expecting to see the same thing, it's not the same thing. Um, but they don't ruin the book either. Um, my recommendation, read the book series, go see the movie. See the movie twice. Really well done. Really hope that they continue to like keep making movies to, to like second and third to kind of mirror the books because it's so good and I love the main characters. I'm obsessed. Okay, last favorite. Sorry, this is so long. I started a Facebook discussion group and we're having a lot of fun in there and it has nothing to do with anything about me or YouTube or fashion or beauty. It's a Bravo discussion group where we talk about all shows Bravo, mostly Real Housewives and Southern Charm, but we can talk about anything you want. I am not a facilitator. I don't instigate topics. You jump on and talk about anything you want. So I will put a link to that in the description box and um, you know, we have a, little, a lot of fun in there. There's, I don't know, a couple hundred of us in there right now and 
we're having fun. So that is it for my August favorites. I apologize, this is a rather long one. It's been a really good month for me and I just wanna share the love with you. Remember to be subscribed because Tuesday, I'll just say it right now, huge giveaway. 10 opportunities to win some pretty amazing stuff, I think. And um, it's only open to subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on some opportunities. And there's stuff for US only. That's not me, that's some of the people who are giving stuff away. And then there's stuff that's open internationally. So there's opportunities for everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting me to this point in my YouTube career. Thank you. It's not enough, but it's all I've got for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.